Hello and welcome to day 29 of the NADN series. In the last video, we saw some of the internal nodes which we have in NADN, like compression, decompression, HTML to Markdown, Markdown to HTML, and then we also saw XML to JSON and JSON to XML, and sentiment analysis. In today's video, let's see how can we change the image within an attack, including overlays, borders, and much more. Okay, so uh, I've already got uh, on-form submission because we want to get a file, basically the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my own image here, which I've already done. Let's quickly have a look at it. You can see this, right? Now, we have a lot of options in terms of image. Okay, so we have uh, edit image, which is an inbuilt function in NADN. So we have blur image, border image, composite image, create image, crop image, uh, draw image, get information, a multi-step. We will talk about multi-step at the end. Resize image, rotate image, shear image, apply text to image, and add transparency to image. Okay. Now, um, it would have been nice if they had remove background, but uh, they don't have. Let's quickly go to remove.bg, which is a very famous platform for uh, background remove. And uh, we could sign up. We just skip the uh, registration process because that's pretty straightforward. Let's go to API and click on get API key and click on new API key. It's asking you what is the key label basically. And let's say an eight and thousand days. Not one day, thousand days. Name could be anything. Just copy this, come back and you have to make a API call. Okay, so we will share the code with you. Just make it as is. We'll tell you what needs to be done and you just have to make that particular call. So this is HTML request and this needs to be a post and the URL should be api.remove.bg slash v1.0 slash remove pg. Authentication is none. Send headers we need using fields below. Name uh, can be image underscore file and input data field name is the file which is coming from here. Once this is done, click on execute step and we should be able to see this data, which is the output. Let's quickly check. And you can see that the background has been removed, right? Very neat job. Now let's move on and uh, let's see what are the other options available. Let's quickly create one uh, background, plain background basically which comes from create image. Uh, property name could be background and we could give the color over here, right? 0462CB, right? That's over here. And we could also play around with uh, transparency if you want, right? And uh, what is the width and height? Let's say 1080 and 1080. Execute step. And now we have the BG, which is the background. Um, I think we can make it even more lighter. Let's click on this. Okay. Cool. Let's move on. Now let's go to image and let's check the resize thing. Okay. Now we want to resize uh, data, which is the remote background. And let's make this as 800, height as 1000. Uh, option we have maximum media, minimum media, and so on and so forth. Let's leave it to uh, maximum media. Click on execute. And that's the data here, right? So this is a resized image now. Okay. Now the next one that we want to try is Composite image, okay. Uh, the property name would be BG. 
and the second one would be data right operator we have to make it as a top right uh, here we are saying what are we going to do with two images okay and uh, we have to give the position let's say i'll give it as uh, 500 x value and maybe 30 as y value let's see what happens and we could also give a uh, file name as uh, combined let's execute this we have view you can see here I've been added but that has moved a lot more outside so let's change this to 300 this looks good i'll get this more down so let's say 70 go back check this yep even more down let's say 100 play around a bit until you feel that this is all good enough okay with 200 we see that it is coming out well now let's move on and let's add the border and this is bg border width could be four but the height could be four and uh, color of the border could be anything let's say something like this reddish i mean i know the color looks very odd but just have a look yep now now let's move on and let's add the text so edit image apply text to image and uh, this is bg because that's what we have here text i'm going to add some motivational quote like success usually comes to those who are too busy to be looking for it henry david Torre and uh, font size i'm going to make it as 40. font color is going to be white because we have a dark background a position we will play around uh, a bit so i'm going to execute this let's go to bt to check how it is coming out so you can see that it has gone all the way so max line length i'm going to make it as 45. let's run this Okay, now position X, I am going to make it as 200. Position Y should be good enough. Max length could be 35. Let's run this. And there you go. That's 200, no, this is 50. Sorry, this was 50, just leave it. Just leave it there. Now position X seems to be good. Position Y, let's make it as 200. I want it to come slightly down. Or let's make this 75 and 75. And uh, font size could be increased even more, like 85 or something like that. And max line length, let's make it as 35. Of course, you can play around with it slightly. Uh, this is not working out. So let's make it as 25. Maybe 25 will also be too much. Let's make it as 10. Slightly decrease the font size. Let's say 65. Let's execute this. There you go. 10 is too small. Let's make it as 15. There you go. I think this is good enough. Uh, or we could just change this to 20. Run it once look oh cool pretty good 80 oh yeah this is good position y i'm gonna change it to 200 200 is too much hope you want 20 there you go now this is the final image uh, um, that we can post it on social media now the text i have manually added it over there but we could be using uh, the text to be coming from uh, OpenAI, right? So where we can generate, uh, what to say, a motivational quote using OpenAI on a daily basis, add that text to the image, and then everything is set to be 
posted on social media yeah of course the image editing things and all is just so that you understand that we have this options if you feel that there is a use case which requires anything of this sort then you can use it otherwise i see that this could be used a lot where you add the uh, image with your uh, background the borders and all the styles that you want and only the text is getting updated on a daily basis now one last thing that we are checking is the multi step so i'm going to image and uh, let's go to multi step and so what you can do here is add all those steps together let's say you want to add uh, the border okay of 5 is to 5 and then something like this and you are going to add um, draw some shape right rectangle or circle or whatever it is um, with some color default color right and uh, all of this so let's just quick click on execute step let's view this you can see that all the steps has happened together right now this position let's change it to 20 is to 20 okay the end position uh, has to be changed as well let's make it a 75 is to 75 right so likewise i can change uh, the things i could add a circle at the bottom as well uh, and so on and so forth so multi-step is basically doing all the steps that we just did together one below the other so that's image node for you we have a lot of options within na10 for you to edit the images so next time you feel that you want to edit the images then you already have them in na10 i hope you enjoyed this video and for the next three days we are going to come up with similar internal tools which we have in na10 thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one